All right, just got done raining and I'm trying to take care of the blue truck maintenance that I've been lacking for 12, 13 years of daily driving it. The rear end started making a little bit of noise when turning, like the clutches were chirping and clattering together. Well, I pulled the inspection plate off the back, the rear end, and there was like three drops of oil in it. In fact, what you see right there is what was in it. So I took the plate off, cleaned it, and I got it on there now I got it on there now and I installed a fill plug so because uh, I never could get the fill plug off the front of the rear end I tried to heat it up everything I broke a couple extensions trying to get it off and couldn't get it so um, I got that uh, back on there and let it dry for a minute and I'm gonna fill it up with some gear oil I'm not really worried about the positive traction fluid because the, I'm sure the clutches are done anyway, so I wasn't going to spend the extra money on that. If I can get this thing to where I can drive it some and take care of some stuff around the house that I need to get some stuff to the dump, then I'll go back in this and take care of what needs to be take, taken care of. I'm sure like the bearings are shot. It's not roaring or nothing. It was just... Uh, clattering real bad when you turn like the clutches are chattering so but i do have a good bit of backlash in the pinion like i can grab the drive shaft and basically turn it more almost a, almost a probably a half inch if i had to take a guess so i'm sure a shot and it needs to be completely rebuilt really but i'm kind of band-aiding the fix right now put some fluid in it hopefully i get another six months out of it or so i don't really know but I got to be able to take care of some stuff around the house. I trimmed some tree, the tree in the front yard a couple weeks ago and the branches are sitting out in the front by the road and I got to get that going to the dump because uh, I got an HOA and they won't, they won't pick it up or they won't let it sit there for more than like a week or so. And it's been a week as of yesterday. So, all right, since that's out of the way, I did not make TNT last night. I got a problem with... Um, I think the transmission in the LX is, I don't want to say it's going out, I don't want to say it's slipping, but it's acting weird. I put a small clip in of what it was doing right here. some fluid to the car it was about half a quart low I added some transmission fluid to the car and I moved the transmission cooler over in front of the electric fan to keep it a little cooler and I put about a, a good turn on the TV cable adjustment and it seemed to pretty much it didn't take the problem that I'm feeling all the way away but it did uh, make it better so I don't think anything is hurt because it's not slipping or anything like that under pressure. Uh, it's just like when I'm coasting is when I'm feeling it. So I don't, I really don't know. Um, I'm just going to keep riding with it and if it ends up messing up then I have another AOD stuck away in storage. Um, and I could always just uh, end up using that because I know that's a good transmission. So uh, I took it out for a couple of draggy passes also. Uh, both of my slicks on and since I put the carburetor spacer on it's helped. So what y'all think about that? 
Pretty good, huh? Pretty good alignment. The actual intake could be, it could afford to go back some, but I'm not going to. Let it ride like that, see how it goes. A lot, that bog is basically completely gone. Uh, but one thing I did notice is I ran a couple of 820 passes again and I was like trying to figure out what is wrong with this thing. But the issue is, is that it needed to spin to get some wheel speed. So as soon as I put about two PSI, I went from 15 to 17 PSI in the tires. I'm gonna go right and I uh, literally just hammered it out the hole and let that wheel spin like one time to get some wheel speed to help get the RPMs up. It took off and ran 8.0s. I did an 8.0, 808. It ran an 808 and then I backed it up with like an 812, I think it was. Ah. And um, I did get one of the 820 passes on the draggy camera thing. And my phone mount keeps falling, so I'm going to have to figure out a better way to do that. But oh, there's a um, Anyways, so I guess the transmission's okay. I guess it's not hurt. And give me a minute. I told you, let me get done, buddy. And I, I guess it's not hurt or anything. So um, Jackson wants to be on camera. He... He's just all over the place. Um, anyways, it, I don't, I don't think it's hurt. I don't think it's hurt or anything like that. I think, um, I think it just got hot uh, more than anything. And uh, I, anyways, I think it's okay. The test and tune that I will be making is in two weeks, as long as it don't get rained out. The event was supposed to be today. It got canceled. And they did have test and tune last night, though. And I was just too afraid to take the car with the, the issue that I was feeling. Um, it's a good 45-minute drive to the track. I would have to race it and then drive home. I wasn't sure what the outcome would have been. And I'm not uh, calling a tow truck is not in the budget right now. So that's what's up. And I'll keep y'all updated. Okay.